You know, we all grew up under the soft white glow of incandescent lights. But today we know that incandescent light bulbs actually use a lot of power. And power consumption, as we know, is really important to us RVers, especially when we're running off of batteries. So, you may have been thinking about replacing your incandescent lights with, with uh, an LED replacement bulb such as this. I picked up a few of these replacement bulbs and I've been swapping out some lights. And I was curious exactly how much power these used over our traditional light bulbs. So I'm going to check these out today and do a little comparison. So stick around. now and I've taken this uh, one of my lights out of the RV and the uh, reason I took it out is so I can do a better test of, um, of the power. So right now I have it all kind of hooked up to a uh, DC power source up here and, uh, and a meter and I want to compare the power output and the, basically the draw of uh, using incandescent light bulbs versus LEDs. So, so let's go ahead and, and run the test and see how it goes. So taking a closer look now, you can see I have my my meter set up to measure measure amps, and uh, the light's off right now, so it should be yeah showing zero amps being being measured. So right now the, uh, the light's drawing zero amps. So let's turn on one side using my incandescent bulb. So that's one bulb. I can see now the the meter's reading. 1.18 amps. That's pretty significant for uh, for one bulb. So let's go ahead and turn on both of them now. So now with both bulbs on, both sides on, it's drawing about 2.4 2.4 amps of current. So that's that's actually a lot for this little light, considering that I have eight of these in my RV. So two bulbs each. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and replace this uh, incandescent bulb with this uh, LED replacement that I picked up on Amazon. Um, so this one, what's important is that you find a uh, find one that matches the same specs. So this is an 1156 bayonet style bulb, and uh, if you want to look for replacements, just kind of search Google probably for 1156 LED replacement bulb. Uh, if that's the type of bulbs you have. Um, so this has nine LEDs in it, and uh, essentially just hooks into the same receptacle, and then you just have to get some kind of adhesive to stick it um, anywhere here. Let's go ahead and swap it out. Yeah, I'm going to take the bulb out. One thing to note is that even a, it hasn't been running for very long, just a couple of minutes. But the bulb is already really hot. It's almost too hot to touch, so I got to really move fast to get it out. So, so that's one thing uh, to note that um, you know, obviously, if it's really hot, then not all the energy going to this bulb is is going towards generating light. So let's go ahead and uh, plug in our LED replacement, and I'll go ahead and put a little bit of sticky stuff on the back so that it sticks to the receptacle here. Alright, now that I've swapped out the uh, incandescent bulbs with these LED replacements, let's go ahead and check out the difference. Remember the uh, incandescent bulbs drew about 1.2 um, amps per side, per bulb, 
So right now, let's try the incandescent ones. I'll go ahead and leave these off. So looking at my meter now, it's reading zero. It's not drawing any current right now. So let's turn on one side. So 1.13 amps. Remember before, so that's that's an entire amp, actually more than one amp less than one bulb, which is you know less than 10% draw than the previous bulb. So if I turn both of them on, remember the uh, incandescent bulbs I turned that on drew 2.4 amps total for this whole fixture and with both of these LEDs on which produces about the same amount of light draws only 0.25. So if you do the math, let me figure it out, I, gotta, I could run 10 of these fixtures with LED lights in them and draw the same amount of current, same amount of power than uh, one. Um, actually draw less power probably than one uh, using um, the standard incandescent bulbs. So now let's take a look at what the actual light uh, looks like with um, this, this side has the LED bulb replacement in it and this side has the old incandescent bulb. So let's go ahead and put the diffusers on and uh, compare them literally side by side. So I'll go ahead and turn them both on. That's the LED and there's the incandescent bulb. So as you can see this one, uh, the incandescent bulb is a little bit a little bit brighter um, but overall pretty comparable considering that this is uh, using one-tenth the amount of energy that this is using. If I touch this light I can already feel feel it warming up even on the diffuser. This no heat whatsoever. However, you know, it does get a little warm, but it's never uh, too hard to handle. So, incandescent bulb, LED bulb. So, if you're looking for a good way to cut down on the amount of power used uh, in your RV, especially when you're running off your batteries, Replacing your incandescent light bulbs with these LEDs is a pretty good idea. Um, as uh, I've shown you, it, these LED replacements use about one tenth, one tenth, the amount of uh, energy as uh, as your incandescent bulbs. Plus, they don't get hot and they last forever, so you'll never have to replace them. Um, in terms of light, they look about the same as the other ones. In fact, uh, I kind of like the way they look. If you're uh, thinking of doing this uh, for your RV, shop around and get a good deal on some bulbs. Uh, there's lots of uh, styles and um, variations of bulbs uh, that might meet your specifications. So go ahead and um, shop around and get a good deal. For more information about uh, these LED bulbs and other stuff in general, go ahead and visit uh, rvwithtito.com. And as always, thanks for watching everybody.